All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So my equation is 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, to solve this, what I'm going to do is first factor out 2 to the power of 10 to my left-hand side. So if I factor out 2 to the power of 10, I get 2 to the power of 10 times, well, 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of 10 is 1, so I get 2 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now from here, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so I get 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And a simpler way of doing this is instead of just factoring this out, well, we have two 2 to the power of 10s here, and if anything added by itself is the same thing as that number times 2. So we could have just said 2 to the power of 10 times 2 at the beginning instead of factoring it out. So now from here, what I want to do is I can actually do this, solve this from here in two methods. So for method 1, I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 as 2 to the power of 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 10 plus 1 which is equal to 2 to the power of 11. So I get 2 to the power of 11 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to 11. Now, method 2 of solving the problem from this step right here so I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, instead of multiplying 2, I'm going to divide 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. Now, 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x minus 1. And now, again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 10 is equal to x minus 1, or I could write this as x minus 1 is equal to 10. And now if I add 1 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 10 plus 1, which is 11. So as you can see, these are the two methods, and method 1 is actually much simpler. It only took a couple of steps compared to method 2. And now the final step that we have to do, and we always have to do this in every equation, is to check our answer. So our equation was 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. We got x equals 11, so I get 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of 11. 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 2 times 2 to the power of 10. And 2, 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 plus 10, which is equal to 2 to the power of 11. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And now I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. 
so if I divide both sides by x to the power of 2, I get x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2. And x over x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2, these two cancel out, and I get 1. So I get x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, that's the same thing as x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, I'm going to take the natural log or ln on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. So if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x minus 2. And I can move this to the front. So I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. Now I can distribute the ln x. So I get x times ln x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. And ln1, that's equal to 0. ln1 equals 0. So now I get x times ln x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to go back and factor out ln x. So I get ln x times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And now I get two equations. I get ln x is equal to 0, and I also get x minus 2 is equal to 0. So for ln x equals 0, we already know that ln of 1 is 0, right? So x equals 1. That's one solution of x. And for x minus 2 equals 0, that's simple. All we have to do is add 2 on both sides. And I get x is equal to 2. So x equals 1 and x equals 2 is my solutions. Now, going back to the original equation, we have x to the power of x equals x to the power of 2. So to check, I'm going to first start by plugging in x equals 1. So if I plug in x equals 1, I get 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1. So this is right. Now if I plug in x for 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So this is right as well, meaning my two solutions are right.